role model in television, Jonathan Harris. Now, uh, my first question, of course, have you seen the new movie, which is doing quite yes, well? Yes, I have. I and have seen the new movie. I suggest you all see the new movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not in it. <laughs> <laughs> it has the most spectacular effects I've ever seen in my whole life. It is a very different movie from the classic series, which is my great love. But it's a very, very important movie. And I must tell you that because of my contribution uh, to the series and the contribution of my colleagues, New Line Cinema was able to do this multi-million dollar epic, and an epic it is. I only asked you one question. I've only just begun. <laughs> now then. <laughs> now what about this? Let me... You, you are Dr. Smith. You, yes. You are the classic Dr. Smith. I'm not going to say the classic Smith. You are Smith. Why, why not you uh, play that part in the, in the movie? Would you have been interested? Uh, I would have been interested to play Smith, and only Smith in Lost in Space, because it's very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. But they hired Gary Oldman, who is a very fine actor, mm -hmm. and a very inventive and innovative actor. And I'm told that he's a fan of mine, shows remarkable good taste, seems to me. <laughs> And he's, a, he's lovely in the part. I, I, uh, think they, a, I think they blew it myself. Because no, no, I, no, no, he's a, he's a wonderful actor. Okay. Um, I have to say that uh, I grew up watching this series. I enjoyed the series. It was in uh, reruns in the Boston area when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I loved the series. I thought you were spectacular. My one problem with it was the monsters looked horrible. They were, they were, they were kind of fake-looking monsters. Can we show this ad up, please, uh, Liz? Just uh, look at the, the monsters. What's fake about that? <laughs> You I could see that you Smith could found them absolutely real. Well, I know Smith did. They scared the hell out of me. <laughs> you could see the paint drying on them in most episodes. Well, they had just worked on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, you see, mm -hmm. and had a new paint job. Oh, you, they would use the same monsters oh, for absolutely. Irwin Allen's other series. Irwin Allen was not known for spending money, <laughs> and so he used he used them on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. And in Time Tunnel, right, right. and in Lost in Space. So he would recycle the, the bad oh, monsters. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, and I found them real, you see, because that's, that's what my part was. That's yes. what I feel. Well, of course, that's what you needed I to do. I was a coward. You were. You were a coward. You were many things. Um, yes, all of which I created. You I'm created all of this. I'm very proud of that. And yes. you created, I'm told, the insults that you hurled at the robot. Oh, that you, yes. Which was my favorite part, is when you would get angry at the robot, you wouldn't just say, you stupid robot. Good you, heavens, no. You. You bubble-headed booby. <laughs> you Neanderthal ninny. <laughs> you cackling cacophony. That was a good one. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, yes. I used to sit up all night dreaming them up, and I had a pad by the, by the bed, you see. And I would think of one and quickly write it down so I wouldn't forget it. Wait a and minute. And use it the next morning. Wait a minute. So you'd wake up in the middle of the night and go, Bubble-headed booby! And yes, you'd write it down? That's exactly what I did. I have thousands of them. Oh. And I have the list. You were terrific also. Yeah. <laughs> I've been you offered have money for list. that list, but I won't sell it. <laughs> Colonel Secret Recipe, you oh, have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the classics. All the classics, uh, yes. You, um, oh my God. I, I thought you deserved an Emmy. The, the show never, did, did you, you never got an Emmy? Were you ever nominated for an Emmy for that role? No, and I took it in view of that. I think... <laughs> At the risk of seeming immodest is one of my uh, problems, modesty. <laughs> you I are was, Dr. Smith. <laughs> I was very, very proud of my creation. There. Yes. I, I created that from the ground up. Yes. And I gave him a thousand facets. And I looked at the screen every week and I watched him, him being Smith, and I said, he's bloody good, he <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I said, he ought to get a prize. <laughs> and nobody good. gave me a prize. Oh. 
But instead, I managed to get Irvin Allen to give me a great deal of money instead. <laughs> oh, that's, that's better than a prize. Well, we have a prize of, of sorts for you, I believe. It's yes. a high honor. Oh. Jonathan, we've got a robot on our show. Oh. And I thought that you might be interested in meeting. Please welcome our old friend, Pimpot 5000. Yeah! Would you repeat that, please, for the radio audience? <laughs> That's I not will necessary. Turn that bitch out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good heavens, sir. Do you like our robot? Oh, I think he's fabulous, really. You enjoy him? What's his name? Pimpot. Pimpot 5000. Pimpot 5000. He, he's half 1950s robot, I half see. 1970s street pimp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going well, then, be nuts. gone, you bumbling bucket of bolts. <laughs> Thank you, that'll be enough, uh, Pimpot. That's all I wanted. I wanted to hear you call the Pimpot a bumbling oh, bucket fabulous. of bolts. That's lovely. Thank you. And praise for our robot. That's high praise from you. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jonathan Harris, uh, you, uh, the reissued classic Lost in Space, the toys are at stores now. Ah, uh, yes. I was at QVC last night, and we sold out everything, all the wonderful memorabilia and the collectibles, which New Line Cinema has done, the robots and a t-shirt autographed by me. <laughs> $22 a bargain. You know what I love? I don't know if you can tell this at home, but Pimpot's had to stand here now doing nothing. <laughs> well, we're chatting. But he's making a lot of motion, actually. Don't you feel stupid. Uh, <laughs> and we got to look for the uh, movie A Bug's Life this November. Oh, yes. I'm doing the Disney animated feature film all called right. A Bug's Life. We're all circus bugs, and I am the praying mantis. <laughs> ah! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, dreams do come true. Jonathan Harris, give him a hand, everybody. He deserves it. Mr. Harris, thank you.